Welcome or welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. Today is our napkin exchange and I'll let you know more about that in a few minutes. But if you're new here, welcome. My name is Brenda and this is my sweet Oliver and we are so happy you're here. And if you're returning, welcome back. I really appreciate all of you guys. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here's DIY number one. So for this DIY, I'm going to use this wreath form from Dollar Tree and I'm trying to show you here, it's a 14 inch wreath form. I'm also going to use some um, tulips that I got from Michael's and then some clothespins. One of these napkins and actually I might have used, no, I used one napkin. And then this ribbon I got from Michael's when it was 50% off. I also use this spray paint and my Mod Podge. So I start off with taking my clothespins and that frame outside and painting it with my spray paint. And then I cut out one of the squares on this napkin. I just love this napkin, it's so pretty. And I am uh, removing the back ply and then I'm just taking Mod Podge and putting it all over the bottom row of those clothespins. And then I am going to lay the napkin on top. And then I'm just kind of lightly dabbing it down onto those clothes pins. And then I just take my Mod Podge and go over the top part um, of that napkin. And then I'm just gonna trim off the excess there, the top part. And I'm gonna turn those um, paper, or not paper clips, <laughs> clothes pins around and I'm going to add what I cut off onto the other clothes pins there. I was having a heck of a time, you guys. My ceiling fan was on because it's gotten really hot here all of a sudden. And man, everything keeps flying around and oh, but you know what? I'll suffer through it just to keep cool. <laughs> so. Once I do, um, get that napkin on, I'm just gonna do the exact same thing I did on the other um, portion, and then I went and did that on all of my clothespins. Now I'm just taking an X-Acto knife. Once it was dry, I let it dry for probably about a half hour, which it's hot enough here for it to dry that fast. Um, and then I took my X-Acto knife and I'm cutting in between each one of those paper clips and then removing them and then I'm gonna um, trim up that excess on the end there and then I'm gonna use my little finger sander and sand away all the extra little bits that were on the side. And I have to admit, it's really not that easy with the clothespins um, because of the little um, metal piece in the, in the middle, it made it kind of hard to get to some of it, but I did it. So then I just went through and I'm starting to clip. Now I did kind of try to keep it, the colors um, together so that it would look like tulips when I when you put it together. So I was trying to, almost like a puzzle, trying to work um, each color together. And I'm only doing one row. So I'm just clipping them on the, um, the middle two uh, bars there. Once I had them all on there, I took some tulips and I am just using some floral wire to attach them to the middle of that wreath. And then I took this ribbon and I am just gonna make my regular bow by doing the awareness ribbon and scrunching it up in the middle. I'm making two bows here and then I'm just gonna use some twine to tie them together. And this is a super easy project. It did take a little bit of time just because of the painting and then the napkins and the drying and all that stuff, but it is really super easy. And I've been wanting to do a clothespin um, wreath for a while, but I didn't wanna do all that painting because the stuff that I see online, I just love, but I thought this would be perfect. And I really love the way it turned out. Um, as you can see there, I just used that uh, jute string that I used for the middle of the bow to tie it onto the back um, 
or onto that wreath farm. And I'm just dovetailing the ends. And that's all there was for this one. No, there's not. Sorry, I forgot. I took a little butterfly and I'm painting this. I think this is petunia purple that I used. I'm painting this butterfly. It's a wood butterfly I got from a pack of wood uh, stuff from Hobby Lobby before Easter. And then I decided I wanted to try and make this match one of those butterflies on the ribbon. So I took my aquamarine and I'm painting the bottom part of the the butterfly and then I'm taking a black sharpie and I'm just going around and making some black dots and then I'm just gonna glue this hot glue this on in between the middle of the bow there and then that was all there is for this one you'll have to let me know what you think of this DIY and if you've ever made a clothespin wreath Okay, so today's challenge is the Napkin Exchange Challenge and it is hosted by Sarah with Sunflowers and DIY and Teresa with Teresa B DIY and basically we had, she they drew names and we had to send each other some paper napkins to DIY with and there is a giveaway. So if you want to win some your own paper napkins and some of those tools, then all you have to do is comment on all the videos that are in this playlist and you will be entered into the drawing and on may 18th will be the final day to um, comment and that's when they will draw the names and let you know who won so here's diy number two so for this diy i'm going to take this napkin here and this wood one of these wood planks from dollar tree some tumbling tower blocks from dollar tree this wood, I think they call it a wood stake from Dollar Tree, some uh, birdhouses from Dollar Tree, my Waverly wax, my white color by Waverly, and then I have ocean, peacock, and lacquer. So I'm gonna start off by painting everything white, except for my tumbling tower blocks. And then I'm taking, I took two tumbling tower blocks and, and hot glued them on top of each other. Now I'm taking four and I'm hot gluing uh, them two. I'm going to have two that are, two sets that are hot glued in the end. There we go. Now I'm going to put some wood glue and hot glue in the top part of one of those. And then I'm going to add the other one right on top. And then I do that with the other set of three there. And then I'm taking, I painted this white and realized I didn't want to paint this white. So I'm going back over it with my pool. No, uh, peacock color. That's what color it is. And I painted the two taller ones with that peacock and a single, um, tumbling tower block with that color and then I did the roof of this birdhouse with that color as well and I just made sure I did the edges of the roof as well and then after that I am going to take my ocean and do the same and then I'm going to do the same on the other one with my antique wax if you're new here I want to say welcome I am so glad you stopped by today if you are enjoy what you see today and you like home decor on a budget holiday decor thrift flips gift ideas and you like to have fun then I invite you to hit that subscribe button become part of our family and then let me know in the comment box below that you are new here I'd love to get to know you and for those of you who are returning as well as the new people um, I would really appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up and comment because that does help my channel grow. It lets YouTube know that you like my content and it will promote it out more so more people can see it who haven't seen it before. So after I get this one all um, painted, you can see I did a little bit of red on the front of that one as well. I took some more of that antique wax and I'm just distressing all of the birdhouses. I kind of went over the roofs. I went all around the um, buildings. I wanted it to look kind of old and distressed. And as you can see on the one with the blue roof, I didn't do a lot of, I mean, I left some white looking because I wanted it to look distressed. So then I did a couple of the tumbling, another tumbling tower blocks without antique wax. And then the one that only had two tumbling tower blocks together. And there I was just making some shingles that came out looking really funny. <laughs> So here I'm taking one of the blocks that I had painted um, with that 
peacock color and I put it on that birdhouse and then this one has one that has the antique wax. So now I'm taking this napkin and I'm removing, it was actually a three ply napkin. I removed both plies and then I am just trimming around the houses and I trimmed off some of the flowers on the bottom. We're going to use that for something else, but I didn't need it um, to fit on this wood plank, which I had painted white along with all the other items that I painted. So once I had that all cut out, I'm going to just go ahead and use my Mod Podge and I'm going to adhere that napkin onto this wood plank. You guys, I really love the way this turned out. I just think it's adorable. I hope you like it too. So I go ahead and I put on this um, napkin. Now the little sign, I don't know if you can read it from here. It says birdhouses for rent. And I just thought that was so cute. And that's why I kind of came up with this idea of putting that sign up next to these birdhouses. So I was kind of trying to duplicate these birdhouses with the ones on the napkin. I was trying to make them all look the same. But here I just hot glued um, those pieces, those uh, tumbling tower pieces to that big bl chunky block. And then I hot glued the houses on top. And then here I'm just putting some jute rope all around this um, little plaque with the, the napkin. And once I have that all on there, I did have to use my lighter to get some of the fuzz off, but I couldn't show you that because my fan kept blowing it off and I had to move, move it away from my camera to get it to work. But anyways, I'm just taking um, some more of that napkin uh, and I am just going to um, Mod Podge it around the bottom part of the... Um, the little birdhouses here and then I'm just covering it with Mod Podge and I add a little bit to the um, oh here I'm just hot gluing the sign on that middle piece and then I took some more of that napkin and I am putting it on this little perch and then I put some around the um, one with the heart around the bottom part and then uh, around the eaves of the roof too then I just took some of these little um, birds that I got off of Amazon. They are, I believe, in my Amazon store. And I am just hot gluing them onto the perches. And then I'm going to make a little um, twine bow and put it on top of the um, the tallest birdhouse there. Just needed a little something. And there it is. I love this. I really hope you guys like this too. But I just love that napkin. I think it's adorable. And uh, yeah, you'll have to let me know what you think about this one as well. Okay, you can find the links to my social media accounts as well as the other accounts that I'm affiliated with in my link tree in the description box below. And it's a celebration of your recreations, although I did not get any pictures this week. So if you would like me to showcase any of your pictures, make sure you email me some pictures and I'd be happy to show that. You can find that in my description box as well. Here's DIY number three. So with this DIY, I'm going to use this wood tag sign that I got at um, a local thrift store for it was $1.98, but it was 50% off. This napkin I actually got a while ago at a thrift store as well. And then my ivory chalk paint by um, Waverly and my Mod Podge. So I just started off by tearing off this. This was just vinyl and it was already cutting and coming off. So it came off really easy. And then I just gave it a good sanding. And then I took off the hanger and wiped it all down. And then I'm just taking my ivory paint and I painted both the front and the back and the sides with that color. And um, this this came out totally different than what I was expecting to do. It came it kind of came out a little more shabby chic, um, which I think is a kind of fun to do something a little different. So once that was dry, I'm just using my Mod Podge. I did cut out some of that um, napkin and took off the, the back ply and then I'm just adhering it there. I just love this napkin. I think it's so pretty and it is just kind of romantic and shabby chic. So I guess that's probably why I went that direction. Um, and then I had 
cut off another part of it because there was another bird on those napkins. So I just wanted to have both of those birds. So I'm just adhering this one as well. And then I just trimmed it all down and I am just adding some more Mod Podge on the top and then I just let it dry, which in this heat doesn't take very long. And then I took some of this lace ribbon. This I got from Walmart, but you could definitely use the stuff that they have at Dollar Tree if you have that. And I am just hot gluing this all around the, um, the tag. Now my first thought was I was gonna use uh, some jute twine but I just kept screaming lace to me. So I went ahead and did more of the shabby chic look instead. So after that, I had these little um, strips of pearls from, well, they're not really pearls, but they look like little pearl beads kind of a thing from Dollar Tree. And I just went around and hot glued them all the way around on top of that lace, just on the edge like you see there. And it really gave it a just, it really added to this look. I really love it. And then after that, I'm going to take some of that lace ribbon and I'm just making it a hanger with it. So I'm just going to uh, trim it off and then hot glue the two ends together. And um, after that, I'm going to take some more lace ribbon. This ribbon I got from Hobby Lobby around Christmas time. And I'm just making my bow and I'm just using some twine to keep it together. Now, you might think shabby chic and twine might not go together, but it's going to be hidden. You're not going to see the twine. Um, I'm just going to dovetail the ends here and then I'm going to hot glue that right above that top bird. Try not to cover it too much. And then I'm going to add one of those little... Um, gems jewels i don't know <laughs> what do you want baubles Gl uh, glitzy thing i don't know what it's called but anyways i'm just going to add one of those i got those from amazon and there it is you'll have to let me know what you think about this but i just love that napkin and i just think this is just so pretty and so sweet and yeah let me know what you think about this one as well and so um, you are going to see the final reveal here in just a few seconds, but I just want to thank you all for watching. Make sure you check out Sarah and Teresa's channels as well as, well as their videos and the playlist and make sure to comment on everyone's video to be entered into the drawing. And again, if you're new here, make sure you hit that um, thumbs up, even if you're not new. <laughs> And comment and then if you are new and haven't hit that subscribe button I really hope you hit that subscribe button before you go become part of our family and with all that being said you guys I will be back on Monday my new upload time with another video so until then have a blessed weekend and I will see you on the next one bye bye